Where's my chat? Where is my chat? Chat, chat, chat. I need a new chat. Was there music playing? Can you guys hear me? Is it gone? Uh, I even pushed pause. It's funny because I, I don't hear it. My speaker is not even plugged in, so it must have been playing on here. Damn, I hope that doesn't, uh, you know what, I'm going to start over because I don't want, I don't like that, I don't, I don't like that. I'm going to start this over, y'all. I didn't know that music was playing, so I'm going to start this over and uh, just come back, B, come back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully it will go back. I'm going to erase that. Hello again. All right. Hopefully this will be different. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, hopefully, that one will uh, not go up. What do you guys think? All right, we'll see. All right, so I'll let a few more people come in. Um, yeah, I'm early today. I'm gonna go to see Incubus tonight. I think I've seen him once, way back in the day, like a long time ago. All right, what's everybody doing? What's everybody up to today? I know it's a little early today, a little early, but it's Friday for you guys. You guys, y'all can, uh, I'm going to pop this chat out. Uh, 
I took, that was one of our first concerts. I took uh, Erica to. Um, e is not here. She is off in San Antonio-ish with Clara and Mixed Media Girl and Rhonda. Oh, there's Erica. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even see that was her. What's up? What's up? All right. So here, let me get that other one I just did. Not very happy with it. Um, so we're going to try this negative space again with the background, but a little different. Um, I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint one side, let it dry, put um, shelf paper over it, flip it over, um, and then pour on that side. So that you you'll have a depth you know what I'm saying uh, there will be an image under it with a little bit more space in between so we'll see if that uh, if that works hopefully hopefully that will work so yeah welcome to um, Friday What's up? <laughs> So, let's bring you a little closer here. I tried to do like a little bit of a negative space, um, which did not, where's my, where's my chat? Which did not um, work that well. I put way too much paint down. I mean, you can kind of see there's a couple spots, but Look at that. All that was painted under there and you can't see it. So, I'm thinking of uh, getting an X-Acto blade and just peeling this off. You know, I don't want to damage this thing, so I'll probably just sand it and redo it. But, we're going to paint one today. So, so yeah, there's that. Um... I have no room anywhere. What's the deal with that? So here's the little coasters. They came out nice. Super clean. I'm digging it. It's nice and nice and clean here. Let me turn this down. It looks like it might be blown out a little bit. so funny how can I can never find my cursor what's it called cursor um, configure oh my gosh I get so sensitive that's a little better Nice and clean, you know, nothing too much. These edges need some work, but it'll be all right. And then the ones that we did in acrylic, I just, man, look at that. That is just glass, y'all. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I really want to do more of these. These are their their acrylic pillow uh, 
bloom, whatever that's called. They were fun, we did with Kim. All right, I gotta put these back in the, I need to turn the heat on. These are still a little sticky. Make some room. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint the back of this. I'm gonna do this, but I think I'm gonna do a little bit, uh, I'm gonna sand it. I didn't sand that last one the last time. Um, I don't have that available, um, not yet, and um, it probably won't be till this week when I do, when I can make it up to makers to make them. Those little things take forever to cut out. I think what I'm going to do if I start making these, I'm going to keep these, the little inserts, and and uh, just add them to the stencil so that you guys can have a reverse stencil if you guys choose to. So this is the plan. I'm going to paint... I'm going to sand this. This is 400 grit. John Arthurs. I wish you could see my work. Um, well, John, uh, if you go to um, ATD's Poor People on our Facebook group, just answer a question, join right away, and post your pictures. Let's see what you got. So I'm just going to hit this with uh, with 400. Um, and here's a little little pro tip. Um, what I did, this is one of those where it like s stabs the sandpaper. Um, I just took some uh, paper towel, folded it a couple times, and put it in between the sandpaper and this. It makes it a little softer, so that it, you know, you cover the entire workspace, you know, or the entire entire workspace, your sandpaper. Um, and it kind of just makes it a little easier to sand. It's not so abrasive when you do sand it. I don't know if I like those. Oh, I sanded some black paint. Well, you got to, yeah, you got to make them lighter. Can you guys not hear me? Oh, it looks like Yeti. Oh, I have microphones on all of them. What's up, Carol? Loud and clear. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm not going to try to, I'm not trying to, you know, really sand this. Um, like, like I said, this is 400. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is 400. So what I'm going to do is just kind of give this a once over. Because that, that other spray paint, when I sprayed that gold on here last time, it really looked like crap when I was done with it. I'm just going to give this a little tooth. I 
I wouldn't I wouldn't use anything um, lower than 400 on on these if you want them to be see-through I think a, a 220 would probably be a little bit too abrasive and you might be able to see the scratches I'm not sure but 400 the clear goes fills in all those spots there you go all right now let's take a paper towel with some alcohol on it I should have this ready just because she said sucked I have to approve it <laughs> what does it matter what YouTube is crazy. All right. I need to, I need to get one of those caps that you just pop open. I hate having to watch out how much. That comes out. All right. Give that a nice clean wipe down. Now, I've never tried this, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint. I'm going to spray paint this. A good one. I'm going to paint this. Then I'm going to should I just should I leave it I thought about painting it just doing the spray paint then taking like black or I don't know another fun color and then painting that so then when you turn this over you'll see the gold hexagons with the black background of that That'll be like a double whammy, huh? Oh my god. What? Okay, come on. All right, so let's do that. Do you want to paint it? Yeah, I think I, I mean, that would be fun. I'm not going to be using any, any, um, what do you call it anyway, so I'm just going to. Yeah, there's no sticky on here, so we're just going to have to make sure this is all down. Ooh, what if I use this? This is rose gold. I don't even know what colors I'm going to use. <laughs> Hold on, sorry, I'm responding to this group chat. All right, so I don't know. What if I did it black?
I don't know. I don't know what would be better. What if I just did it multicolored? Ooh, let's do that. That'll be fun. We're gonna do some multicolors. Heather, just paint. Don't be scared. Nothing to be scared about. Do this. This will be nice and bright. <laughs> this will be fun. All right. So stencil so I'm just gonna do a bunch of fun color That does not look like this color on top. I, that's why I do not like this paint. I'm not a fan of that. This is like super dark and this does not look dark in, on this cap. All right, so we'll use, we'll use this, we'll use some light blue Yeah, I know. It moved on here, but it didn't move on here. The whole thing moved. Ooh, that does not like that. This is just about the same color. I don't want to use that. Hold on, I'm gonna get a bright. Where can I, where is blue, orange. What would be good on there? We'll do some yellow. That'll be fun.
So yeah. You think that's enough? Let's put a little bit more pink around there because you can't really tell if I missed a spot or not. And we're not going to be able to see this side anyway, so might as well make sure I cover all of it. And I guess you could if you wanted a multicolor clock. All right, look at that. All right, so now. That is way out of color. Y'all, you need to tell me how bright that is. That's insane. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Too much color. I think that's good right there. All right, thank you guys. Little heat gun. I think I'm going to do black. And see how I just lightly dusted that. This is already pretty much dry. So now, look how fun that is. Oh, thanks. Look at this. This is awesome because it's got, can you guys see that? Oh, here, look. Artistilbit.com on the side. I gotta get out of this chat. Hold on. Delete message notification type. Alright. Sorry about that. Alright. So I think I'm just gonna paint this black. funny because this says gloss and uh, I got this at Hobby Lobby and it's not gloss it's like a look I'll show you it's like a flat it's like almost a little less than an eggshell but it is not shiny like this says it's shiny um, and by the way this is really good paint to paint with this and then put that protective uh, coat. What was that? The, uh, oh, what did I use? 
I put like a, a matte spray over it, over the crappy Rust-Oleum flat black, and it turned it a little bit darker than I like. All right, here goes nothing. This should be interesting. Yeah, this is the back. This will be, when, when you see this, you'll see these and then just the black lines when I peel this other side off. I'm gonna cover this up with some um, contact paper so that um, when I do resin it, it won't get on this. So it'll be easy to clean up. Or I could probably tape it, but then I don't want that. This is this stuff doesn't stick that well, like it's not super contact, you know? So that's why I don't mind using it on this because I know that it won't peel this up. It shouldn't. And plus I did sand this, so we'll see. So here goes nothing. going to do that. That's it. Yeah, this is clear. This is a, a clear acrylic board. One of our clear acrylic rounds. It always looks fun when you paint something and then paint black over it again. You can still see like... I love that. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure how long this will take to uh, dry. I probably should have used that other one. I should have used the, uh, should have used the, yeah, no, it'll be all right. We're not going to resin it just yet, so. So now that I did it that color, there's going to have to be a lot of, uh, negative space if we're gonna see this so um, what I'll do is when I do resin it I'll probably just put some color like um, like how maybe a geode would be just do one here kind of off to the side so that there's plenty so I'll do some feathering out yeah that'll be cool We'll do some white. And what is a color? What's it? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to let this set for a minute before we put any wax paper on here or that contact paper. She, uh, there's a, on our YouTube, I have a picture, um, it looks good. All right, so let's think of um, the colors we want. What do I have over here? Maybe I'll do, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do some, uh, some, we'll do some stone coat white and some uh, transparent colors. We don't, uh, we don't need opaque stuff.
Let me grab some inks or some uh, transparency. What do we got here? Where are all of the transparencies? So I think I'm going to use Bondi Blue and Magenta and some Stone Coat White. going to use some art coat, stone coat. We'll just use those two colors. That'll be fun. We won't use too much. We don't need a lot for this one. I'll we'll just use four ounces since we're just doing some, some, fun, some fun colors. We're not trying to cover the whole thing in color, so this should be fine. Yeah, just wait. I just I have to take the back of this off, so and you guys will see the magic. <laughs> I hope it's magic. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. That's the first time I've done this, so. And it is cold here today, y'all. And I had to go down and get Uline, all our boxes. And it comes on a like a three foot by probably six foot pallet and it's full like probably to about four feet high and the guy's like I can't bring it on the sidewalk because I don't have a ramp so that means I have to cut it open on the street come upstairs get my two-wheeler and just put boxes on it bring them up here go back down and the, uh, these other boxes are probably, I don't know, s probably six foot high, almost seven, because they're for the rounds and, and stuff. Oh my God, because they have to come unfolded. So it's like super huge boxes. So it was a rough day for me. <laughs> and if you've been to my studio, um, we live at the opposite end of the building where they take every where they where we have to pick it up and the elevators are not that big here so that 
I'm thinking I just want to use one. I think I'm just going to use this this uh, Bondi. But this will make it turn purple too, so that'll be kind of cool. What do you guys think? This is for the white. We don't even need that much, I'm sure. For the color. And then this is for the background. So that should be cool. Now we're just going to use a little bit of. Uh, we don't need all that. Right? We really don't. Hey, do you guys hear that TV in the background? a teeny bit of that titanium from just resin so I can make this more white Ooh, you know what I can make I can make a cut lot different because I know that's gonna be like plenty let's make a just a regular titanium white so that we can have a little bit brighter white in there what do you guys think about that idea That'll be kind of cool. Hopefully that'll be enough for my... Yeah, that's, um, that's the TV. I need to go turn that off. I should know better. these guys I'm just gonna use just a little bit of this I don't want it too opaque but I wouldn't mind God, that's such a nice color y'all it's a great color that I just barely like dip that one of our stir sticks in there and it was enough to color that oh my god I want that a little bit brighter I need some of those little pipette things I just don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm rather nervous. All right. Let's take this off so we can reveal the awesomeness.
I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna show you guys yet. <laughs> it's black. It came out black. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How fun is that? That's fun. And we got us a little palette to work with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut a piece of this. And then put it on the back. So that I can mask this off so that um, I don't have to clean up the back of this. You get my drift? You picking up what I'm putting down, you know? Just bought a ticket to Incubus, and then Ron texts me because he told me he, the guy doesn't have any more tickets. So I buy a ticket, and now he tells me the guy got me a ticket. Oh boy! So now I have to sell that ticket. Alright, this is gonna be the fun part. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the fun part? This technically doesn't have to be like perfect, it just has to be perfect around the edges. So I'm not going to worry about it if there's any, see look at that, that's what I like about this paper. Um, it's, you know, it's not super sticky so. So if you guys want to do this on your own time you just get this at Home Depot contact paper for shelves it's a mat so you can see through it I don't like to get the super clear I don't know why um, but what I do is just push this you don't have to do all this center you really don't have to I'll probably cut a hole in the middle so that the resin can go through it um, and then just cut around it so that uh, this back is protected.
and you want to cut it as close to the edge as possible so always use a brand new exacto blade and do it kind of at an angle so you know you're right up against that edge because you don't want um, you don't want you don't want any hangover for the resin to get caught up on there and voila you have masking and it's just like it's basically like the brown paper that we uh, that comes on the uh, on these rounds but it's clear there you go a little, just a little extra step to so you don't have to worry about doing the back of that there we go you can also do that with your uh, with your coasters too if you get if you guys make your own masonite coasters um, this stuff I'm pretty sure we'll stick on the back of that all right let's put the clear down hopefully I made I left enough which I highly don't think I did <laughs> yeah and I know I'm not gonna use all those colors I have to mix a little bit extra Just mix a little ounce of this. <whistles> Sorry, I'm mixing this off to the side here. too much son of beasting all right well now we have more than we need so Yeah, my phone does that. My, it's like, hey, hello, somebody text you. Don't forget. Well, welcome, John. Did you go join um, ATD's poor people? Um, hey, Judy, what's up? Didn't see you in there. JJ. John, sometimes I just got a text. That's pretty much my whole life on that phone, so. <laughs> a little different these days. So. Well, um. When you do, just make sure you say, hey, this is so-and-so, I'm new. And you will be welcome with open arms, and you can ask any question you want. Yeah, let's give uh, let's give John a, a high five for his service. Everybody, give him a high five. Thank you, John. Not a lot of males in this group. JJ's quite lonely at times. <laughs> I 
All right. Make sure my rag is out of the way. That's the first thing you do, guys. Make sure your alcohol rag is out of the way. And anything that's flammable, put it off to the side. Just gonna do that a little bit. Maybe I should have done this, done the, instead of black, use white. I'm pretty sure that would have made it a lot brighter, you think? I don't know. All right. Let that settle down a little bit. If you guys just jumped in, I painted the back of this. This is uh, one of our clear rounds. Um, I put this, the hexagon stencil on it and uh, painted it with the colors and then painted the rest black so that you could see the black and the colors and then turn it over and now I'm putting resin on it. All right, so now here comes the fun part. I don't know which is which. Stone coat? Ah, yeah, because uh, the just resin is a lot brighter. All right, so we're just going to do we're going to do kind of a like I said, we'll just do a little bit. I don't want to cover up this. do is just do the colors in the middle and then just kind of spray it out from there. There are little kids in this hallway screaming at my, outside my door. I tried this the other day and it did not work at all. Because I put way too much color down. So hopefully this will be okay. I think I put too much color on. <laughs> All right, let's move this. Sorry, didn't mean to move that so much. All right. Uh, she is in San Antonio with the girls at uh, Marcy's uh, class, I believe. I'm gonna use this little air dryer. You guys remember this little guy? This little air blower. Got this on Amazon the other day. This is gonna be kind of loud, so.
still too much pain. Might have to do some tilting. This was just kind of another test anyways. <laughs> to see uh, what it looks like if you paint the back and then paint it again and then use that for um, the background. Yeah, I need to tilt this. There is way too much color on here. This is even, this is so fun. This almost looks like clouds. Very wispy. <clears throat> hmm. Not sure if I like that. I do like the idea of these colors turning purple though. That's super fun. Put some transparent color on there so this will <laughs> you'll be able to see through it still well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tilt this even more Well, we're gonna see if this if this uh, paper works on the back. That's for sure. Yeah, this is like super busy. I'm not very happy with this guy. Too much, too much going on. But see how you have that clear down so you can just move this stuff all over the place and it just slides right over it <laughs> yeah that's just too busy too much What is this stone coat? I know this is so the stone coat the let's see here. FedEx is at the door. Hold on one second. Coming!
Pink up. They never come to the door. All right, so let's just put the rest of this on here. I don't want to waste any. Waste not, what not. That's what, that's what B says. <laughs> Where's my swiping paper? We're going to do a little bit of swiping. We're going to see. It's Friday. Like, what are you guys going to do? be too much stone coat under there for this to work but we're gonna find out It's Friday, and somebody just got paid. Right? Somebody got paid today, right? There goes all my negative space. <laughs> that was a waste. This is turning into something fun. Look how fun that is. That's so fun. I'm gonna heat that up and send that off of there. Fortune tail. Get back some of my negative space. There you go. That's fun. Completely opposite of what I was uh, <laughs> thinking. So, yeah.
the more you tilt it, the bigger the cells stretch out. I'm just trying to reclaim some of this negative space, so. I think that's fun. <clears throat> it's all right. And now you can put like, uh, that would look nice if you put like gold numbers. That would be fun. This is a fun little clock. Not too bad, kids, not too bad. Well, good luck, David. You got this. As Stone Coat would say, you got this. I really don't have any more. Oh, I do have resin. Let me put this in the dust free zone. And tomorrow we'll see how, uh, we'll see how this uh, tape worked out. Should be fine on the back. Oh, I don't want that. If you need any help, David, we are here for that. All right. Got some resin left. Got a couple coasters. No need to waste. I think I want to use, what is this, is this, look at this yellow, y'all. We got to use this yellow. This looks fun. I'm going to make this opaque. some of this what is this red got some red here folks oh we got some glitter yes artisan summits coming up april 7th and 8th in Las Vegas at the West Gate, hosted by Stone Coat Countertops. Hope everybody can make it. Let's put the majority of that in this white so that we have plenty. We're gonna do a stone coat white and a just resin white. I am like really zoomed out. I apologize, you guys. 
or zoomed in, I should say. And this is the titanium. Mixture of both here. That's going to be fun. Look at that. You can see the difference. I'm not going to put too much of that red because it is definitely going to take over. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this yellow is crazy, y'all. Yeah, that does not look good together, does it? <laughs> See, this is what happens when Erica's away. Crazy yellow, fun stuff. <laughs> oh. Funny, I thought that this red would like completely take over. And it's kind of like holding, you know, this yellow is like holding its own. Pretty impressive.
That is a piece of wood on here. It's like a, what? It's crazy. All right, so we got one good coaster out of it. <laughs> So fun. I like stretching those cells out on the side. All right, I think that's it. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, continue to destroy things. We got a newbie. What's up? Who's who's the Paul character? What's up, Paul? How are you today? Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, this was fun. Um, I kind of went south on my clock face, but what are you going to do? Every time, try to have a, a plan and Resin's like, mm, nah, I don't feel like it today. Not today, son. Not today. Ooh, I got one more coaster <laughs> oh i oh, push a little bit too hard for that one there we got one of our clear ones here if you guys don't know what that is it is a clear piece of acrylic that we cut into coaster shape you peel one side off leave this side on this is paper and pour and there you, there you have it. So the cleanup is essentially zero besides tearing off the paper. We got a little bit of resin out of that. All right. need a lot just enough but I'm gonna cover this in that yellow You love how I say that's it, I don't want to destroy stuff, and then I just continue to destroy stuff. Tilt some of this off so we can get some possible negative space, but I highly doubt it. But this yellow is is kind of transparent so we'll see how this works out we'll see how it works out tomorrow <laughs> all right so we'll just let that one sit you can kind of see through this so we'll just let that sit, unless we want to put some, a little bit of color right in the middle. Let's try this. Heat this up a tad. Get some of this white down at the bottom and then stretch it out. Ooh, we got a yellow and red jellyfish. <laughs> done. Fanny, off with the gloves. All right, 
so that's that, y'all. Um, Paul, we uh, we would love to come do a class in California. We put a little poll out probably, I don't know, probably four or five months ago. Um, we got a little feedback from California, but not too much. Um, we went all the way to Vegas. Um, we were in Florida, Phoenix, Colorado, um, Vegas. We did, um, we went up to Stone Coat. We went to Oregon. Didn't do a class up there, but that's close to Cali. <laughs> Um, we do have shirts online. Not this one. This is not mine. Um, I feel really bad. I, I'm not. I forgot the name of the lady that made these for us. The nope. Um, she just made us a couple personal ones. Um, but we do have some shirts online. I'm sure we do. We have. We still have a bunch of the tour shirts that we only sold to the tour. You guys, we should put those online. It's me and Erica doing silly face. It's pretty funny. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, here we go. So if you are new, here is all of our information. Um, Artists Tell Death Studios, that's Instagram. Um, as you can see, our Facebook group, ATD's Poor People. All you have to do is just answer a question and you will be let in. Um, we are up to 4,500 people in that group, which blows me away. So awesome. Um, and don't be afraid to ask a question anytime. Post a question, post a picture, anything you want, post away. Um, JJ, you'll get a tour shirt. I mean, you could buy a tour shirt. <laughs> We spent a lot of, nobody bought any. Like, couple people, like, I think we sold like four throughout that whole tour. Um, I think if maybe we would have had them in, uh, in Australia. Did we take some to Australia? I don't know. I don't think so. <clears throat> um, let me get this so it doesn't go off again. Sailor Jerry. Um, what was I saying? Thanks, Doris. Thanks for saying that. Is Dallas got? Well, we didn't have them. I think we're selling them for like twenty bucks, twenty-five or something like that. Um, I'll have uh, I'll have Erica put them. Hold on, let me see. I'll show you guys what they look like. <laughs> How fun is that? The Poor People's Tour. It's a great paint shirt. You can get it trashed as much as you want. And we didn't put it down the, you know, too big, so you, you can wipe your hands all over the bottom part. <laughs> Do whatever you want with that shirt. Um, so we'll probably, we'll probably put them on the site for like 20 bucks or something. <clears throat> um, so yeah. Um, and there's all our information. Uh, doink, doink, doink. So there you go. Um, thanks for joining me on this Friday night. If you guys go out, be careful and uh, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Um, have a safe night and we'll see you tomorrow. I'll probably go a little early tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to be starting 
my Christopher Walken painting tomorrow. I got to get that out and shipped out before we leave. Um, yeah, the boys aren't here. They're with uh, they're with Erica. She's up in San Antonio with Clara, mixed media girl, and Rhonda at um, either Rhonda's class or mixed media girl. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but uh, she will be back tomorrow or Sunday. I'm sure Clara will kidnap her and force her to paint after the class tomorrow. <laughs> but um, I got to go. I'm going to go get ready and go to see Incubus tonight, which should be awesome. Uh, it's a new music venue up in uh, Las Colinas, which is pretty cool. So with that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, have an awesome Friday.